Hi guys, long time, no see. I don't know why I just, a second I said that, I remembered that I haven't taken my pills this morning. Oh boy, I'm trying to get better at like taking them earlier. Um, as you can see, I have some of my makeup done. I'm just kind of finishing up. Thought I'd do a little vlog style video today. I actually filmed one similar to what I had planned to do today, uh, not that long ago, maybe two weeks ago, and deleted the whole thing because this happens too often. Like I start to film and I get into it and then I go to edit it and I go, this is stupid, nobody wants to see this, which isn't very nice of myself to myself. I thought about making a TikTok instead because TikTok has 10 minute videos now, but I was like, I don't think 10 minutes is gonna be long enough for my talkative ass. And also I do miss YouTube. But I gotta be honest, more than the feeling of missing YouTube, I really, 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 I'm, I'm in a bad mood about TikTok right now because I don't know if you guys go on the platform like I do, but it is non-stop ads. It is non-stop people trying to sell stuff on TikTok shop. It is non-stop just like consumerism more than like I who likes to shop who likes to buy stuff like it is just way too much right now like it literally gives me anxiety scrolling and I'm trying to like scroll really fast past videos of like people selling on TikTok shop and blah 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 and the thing is it's not even about like I don't want creators to make money or like I have affiliate links. I have a like to know it. I have an, I don't know why that was in quotes. I have an Amazon storefront and yeah, like I of course want to make money with those things. It's just like every video, bro, when it's every single video I see, like I would say eight out of 10 videos, maybe seven out of 10 videos that I see are selling, 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 selling. I. I can't and then of course like a lot of the people also I don't know just like the way they come off I feel like TikTok has glorified a lot of creators who have this certain style of or like approach to their videos where it's very like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to portray this the same way but you know where it's like oh my gosh guys I just got this and I'm never gonna believe this or it's like some sort of hook at the beginning that's like you're never gonna believe what I got. And it's just like, oh my God. And then they're showing like a freaking deodorant or something, you know what I mean? I was in sales for 10 years. I understand. Uh, sales is hard, um, especially online. You gotta have a hook. You have to have something that's gonna capture people's attention. But seriously, I'm sick of it. Like I'm honestly just really, really sick of it you know who I'm loving right now so, 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 so much? And it is the opposite of anything like that because it's happening on YouTube too, where a lot of creators are just posting basically to post their, to then post their affiliate links under the description. It doesn't really seem like people are genuinely, I don't know, I shouldn't say people because I'm, I'm positive there are creators out there who I have not yet found who are not doing this, but it does seem like, everyone is here to or like online to just try to sell something and especially and i know you guys have to feel this too especially with how expensive everything in the world is right now look at my baby he's so cute and chubby it is really hard to see people trying to sell you something or encourage you to buy stuff when a lot of us like just frankly cannot at the moment you know what i mean i know me personally i mean opening my business this year i quit my job well over a year ago i have spent so much getting my business started and i'm not in a position that i can just go buy whatever i want at the drop of a hat um, not that I absolutely could do that when I had my corporate job, but it was definitely more doable. And also things were less expensive. Like that's a fact. 
So money went a little bit further. Anyways, I'm personally trying to like, and I mean, it is daily because I'm somewhat of an addict. I definitely use shopping as like somewhat of a coping mechanism. And I, I like shopping. I honestly, I love it. It's so fun. I love, like I have a couple of, um, not even events, just like plans for December. And I'm like, oh, I wanna get this outfit and I wanna get that. And then I like go online and I look at the outfits that I want to buy and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I'm not even looking in my own closet. Like I got to stop. Anyways, I have a little bit of a problem with shopping and spending money and I'm really trying to be better and not just frivolously spend. It's really hard during the holidays. I, I, I'm sure that you guys agree with that. And so not only is it annoying to go on these platforms and just see creators that just like seem like they're not even really into what they're doing anymore. They're just like, let's say for makeup, they're not even really into that. They're just like, okay, what, what am I going to sell today? So that's annoying. But then also like, yeah, I'm trying to hold back from spending money. I can't really like watch creators that are saying, Hey, hurry up and spend this money. And you know, I'm not trying to say I'm never going to post again with like affiliate links or I'm never, I just don't want it to be every goddamn video. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, what I was going to say is, do you know who I really, really love right now? I'm watching him literally like every single day, Peter Mon. I feel like I was subscribed to him or at least I like, I think I just knew of him years ago. And for some reason, I didn't really like subscribe or like start to become a fan, but Chelsea Suarez, CC Suarez on here that does anti MLM videos. I've heard her talk about him or just like mention Peter's name before. And so I think that's what like cued me in to be like, who is this guy again? And then I looked at his channel, his drama channel in particular, and now I'm subscribed. He has literally seven channels. Now I'm subscribed to uh, his vlog channel and his drama channel, but I really only watch consistently his drama videos. But why I love him so much, his personality is really great, he's really funny, but I just love the style of video where people are just sitting and just talking. Like talking as if you and I are at my house, on my couch, and just like chatting, you know? I really, really love that. And so I just figure, like every time I see stuff like that, I'm like, well, if I love that so much, why don't I do it? But then what happens is, I think that not even really consciously, but I, I end up overthinking it and then I don't end up posting it like I did with this past video. I just realized I put powder on and I have not yet done my cream stuff. So I hope this does not ruin everything. I'm gonna try to just put like a little bit lower. Ever since I started doing cream bronzer underneath my powder bronzer, I swear to God, like I cannot not do this. This is such an old product. I do still love this, but it does not come in this size anymore. This is the Milk Bronzer Stick. Um, not trying to sell it, just trying to let you know what I'm doing. And you're probably like, what the hell? I always get questions like, where'd you find that jumbo one? Oh, it's like two years old. <laughs> That's where I found it. Anyways, I don't have a ton going on today. I do have a client this morning who's a new client i'm excited to meet her i actually if you're wondering uh where is my bird well i don't know how long this is gonna last but she's downstairs right now she is insatiable right now i honestly do not know fully what's going on but the last few weeks she has been very hard to deal with especially in the morning. I can hear her right now calling for me. I might have to go get her if she's like panicking, but I'm hoping she'll just kind of entertain herself. Anyways, she's been like very hard to handle, especially with the non, non, non-stop chirping. She literally, especially in the morning, will not stop chirping. Like, and it's not like, let her chirp. It's like, is something wrong? Because she will not 
stop. It's chirp, 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 chirp. And it's like, uh, I can't. Like, it gives me a lot of anxiety. Which, by the way, speaking of anxiety, I've definitely realized it's like it's a, I've always known this. Oh, God, it's getting mixed with the powder. I've definitely always known this, but recently I've realized like how much anxiety I deal with on a daily basis. And so my anxiety, even though I'm medicated, is very like ready to ready to come to the surface like at any moment and make me feel like I want to jump out of my skin. And when she starts chirping like that, I, that's kind of like, I, I can't, like I try to push through and this is her room. So I'm in here trying to like chill, watch YouTube, do my makeup and she's nonstop. And I'm like, I, I literally this morning was thinking about moving my vanity to another room until this is over. Well, here's, so I haven't even said it yet. So what I believe is going on, cause I Googled it is she is going through puberty my cockatiel who is going to be nine months old in just a couple of days probably once this goes up she'll already be nine months old and apparently that is somewhat normal uh cockatiel hormonal behavior so I have no idea when it's going to end. Um, I have tried to do some research. I think I'm just gonna end up calling my vet and asking her her opinion. But it is surprising how much information there is on Google about like having a parrot or a cockatiel specifically, but yet so many things I've dealt with are not like easily explained when I'm researching. Like I've only had her, I've had her for less than a year. And yes, this is my first bird, but I also did research for like nine months before I even got her. So I knew what felt like a decent amount. And yet I have, we've literally had stuff with her since we got her, stuff that's like pretty, you know, you wanna be able to Google it and find out what's going on and can't, can't find a straight answer. Like truly can't. I know it's like, bitch, that's what vets are for, but I want to call my vet every two seconds. Anyways, she's downstairs with uh, Saint and I'm hoping she'll be fine because when she was in here, she was literally just nonstop. What's especially unique for our situation with her as well is she does not have a cage. Like this room is where we have her if we're not home. And if we are home and we're downstairs, she's with us. So it's a lot more different. Like if I'm typing in, why is my cockatiel chirping nonstop? Like I can't get her to stop. And she has food, she has water. She's not, like a lot of these searches that I'm looking up are like, oh, take her out of the cage or my bird won't stop chirping in the cage or whatever. And it's like, that's not, like she really, in my opinion, should not be in distress because she literally has everything she could ever want, you know, to the best of my knowledge. I'm not a pet psychic, but. Oh, my Christmas tree came on. So I guess that means it's like nine o'clock now. So I have a little bit of time before I have to leave. I actually went to the spa yesterday and did a lot of stuff. I didn't have any clients yesterday. So I did so much like cleaning and organizing. And so often I've gotten into the mode of going in, seeing my clients and then cleaning up a little bit, like, you know, the necessity, like sanitization and then just leaving and not really like hanging out there because I wanna be home, especially I have, you know, I'm open till like eight o'clock. So sometimes I have a client come in at six and then I'm there literally the other night, I didn't leave until nine o'clock. So obviously I don't wanna like hang out there forever and just like, you know, start organizing stuff at nine o'clock night. I wanna go home. I wanna see my husband. I wanna be with my animals, blah, 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 blah. And so it was really nice to go in there and have some extra time yesterday to kind of get reorganized and some stupid admin things that I always avoid doing. 
So I'm excited to go in there today because like the room's already super clean and set up and I don't really have too much to do before my client gets there. That's the worst thing is if I haven't done everything I needed to do for the next day's client and I'm just like, oh, I'll do it in the morning. And then you're trying to get there early enough to do all that stuff. And it can be hard to get out of here because of the pets and everything else that goes on in life. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get her, but I guarantee she's gonna chirp up here. All right, she doesn't act like she wants up. Oh, well, I found lashes in my hair. So see, this is what happens. Like the minute I come back up here and I'm like, okay, I guess you don't wanna come back up. She starts chirping again. So we're having a great time. You have warm feet. I've said this a million times. You're no good for me. I said say goodbye. But your voice is my lullaby. Your kisses are something I can't deny. Okay, I obviously barely filmed at all after I saw my client today. As you can imagine, it just gets busy, but um, she was very nice. It was a new client, so I was happy to meet her, and I hope to see her again because she's very local. Sorry, I'm by apparently a very busy street. Um, and then I did take a little walk with my friend Lauren who lives downtown St. Pete now. She just moved back actually from being literally out of the country for like three years. So I've been seeing her as much as possible. Okay, so anyways, we did take a walk earlier, me and Lauren, and now we're taking another walk and I have this giant jacket on but I was worried it was gonna be cold, but of course you start walking and then you're like, okay, I'm hot now.